She doesn't have to love what I do. Uh, I think I want her to be inquisitive and understanding, but she doesn't have to fawn mm -hmm. over my work or whatever. Like that. Yeah. And, and, that, and that's what, first 30 seconds? Or, or <coughs> what are you talking about here? Well, boy, you know, I went through a period of blind age where I was set up for, I must have, and I'd say yes to everything. This is years ago now. I haven't really had, it's been a while since I've had a date. But uh, I can make a decision in, easily in the first date, but usually in the first 10 or 15 minutes. Yeah. I'm yeah. afraid, yeah. yeah. So, and they can do the same with me. I understand that. It's happened. Yeah. But, uh, you know, why have people stop trying to set you up? Oh, they, they know that you're particular? Yeah, Lisa. Uh, Lisa will stop people in their track. Don't even try. Don't even try again. <laughs> He's a, he's a confirmed bachelor. Is that your comment that she's not perfect enough? <laughs> did, did that put people out? No, no. I, I think there's a thing about people that, you know, I get the reputation that I'm going after young women. I, I don't go after anything. But I, I certainly <laughs> express my gratitude for a fine-looking someone in their 20s still. Yeah. I can't help it. My What I like is still what I like. But I understand now that, you know, okay, they're not going to look back at me. I understand that. So do, you, so do you attempt interaction with those? With no, those like if I'm at the gym. Oh, okay. No, 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 <laughs> I'm not going to. I will, if they're, when they're walking by, I'm going to give them just a little smile, that's all. No, I'm not going to say anything. It's, it's pathetic. <laughs> you know, you should smile. You know, you should be the one that smiles first. And so I thought, I'm going to try that, but I don't want to smile too big because you're like creepy right yes. right yeah. yeah so so i i did this probably like for six months a year and then i decided you know what do i look like when i'm you know and i realized that i wasn't smiling big i was sneering oh <laughs> it wasn't even a smile no wonder i'm not getting any, any response from anyone there, there's a difference yeah <laughs> well it's funny you know the idea of a smile well what do you think when a girl smiles back you smile at somebody she smiles back what's your take on that do you mean do you think she's interested or just being a girl, friendly? girl slash woman? Yeah, girl not slash necessarily woman. interested. Okay. If she's smiling at me, I'm giving her a little smile back. I just think she thinks, okay, I could be a nice guy. No, I'm not going to take that as an open door. Oh, good. To get her number, Jim, because they're really, I'm really not out that often. When I go out to the gym, uh, that's my social interaction of the day. So I am seeing four or five or six women who. You might fall in the range of possibilities, but they're all younger. Yeah. There aren't too many 60-year-old women who go to my gym. They're in their 30s. So, um, but yeah, but I'd be careful about that. But, <laughs> but even in uh, stopping in a traffic light, you know, <clears throat> you know, you look over and you smile at someone. But well, where's it going to go from there? You know? Yeah. Get a car. A moment's a moment. Yeah. It, it, let's say you were 30 and you had the same reactions. Would it be different? Would you pursue it more because you're thinking, oh, I'm more in the age range? Or is it you don't pursue it because you realize, man, eh, it's just being friendly. I was never that aggressive yeah. in my 30s. I was never cocky enough. I, I was always on the edge. Even in high school, I was on the edge. I was watching other people do it, marveling at the, at the bravado of people back then. Even I, I had they had to be kind of more forward with me. Oh, I get it now. She is interested. Yeah. Isn't that isn't that funny? I don't know. There there is a certain age when you realize, oh, women are interested too. You know, in, in doing this. So you go to the gym. What other social? What, what other aspects of your social life? What What is your social life? Ooh, my social life, um, the last several years, has been involved in my business trips, where I will go to Kansas, Oklahoma, or whatever, and I am all of a sudden around a group of people who are involved around the project I'm working on. It could be a chamber of commerce. They're inviting me out to dinner. I am meeting single women then, and I've had over the years. Those are the things where little sparks happen, little things uh, happen uh, that and then I'm gone. Five days later, I'm gone. I might come back for a repeat thing, but none of them ever led to anything long term. So not to be cliche, but you know, talk about people aren't a prophet in their own land. Does that help? Are you kind of celebrity when you're out in the country doing that, across the country? No. Celebrity, no. no. I am the person who generally, I, I'm the guy who's... I'm, I'm giving them a gift to a community. So they're, I'm elevated in that regard that here's a nice guy. He's an artist from California who's giving God a, a free gift. And we're going to be friendly to him. And uh, no, no, not the celebrity part because they don't know. Yeah. You know. I don't get much celebrity stuff. Really. <laughs> <laughs> Occasionally I'll get the, are you that guy? Yeah. But it doesn't help me socially really that much. <laughs> I thought it would. 
being an artist, I thought uh-huh. I'd be doing nude, yeah. nude sketches and yeah. put them on and it would lead to sex and yeah. all that. Yeah. That never happened. It never happened. <laughs> there was no Titanic moment where you and Kate Winslet. Uh, no, no, I think about that. Yeah, that's the son of a bitch. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Draw me like one of your French girls, John. <laughs> Even in Hollywood, huh? even even when you were down there, nothing like that. Um, little bit, a little bit. I worked on some TV shows where I would do uh, sketches of casts of shows. So I was meeting these. These are eighteen year olds, and I was thirty five or so then. And they were cute and flirtatious and all that, but it was titillating and all that. But you know, I wasn't going to go anywhere because I wasn't going to help their career. Or anything. I was just an artist who was doing a job.